Anyways, what's in this bag? We'll find out, but first... And obviously it's <laughs> Gran Turismo 3, it's the wrong game. I took a gamble on a game from Valley Village, $4.99. Uh, minus 20% off with my coupon. What up YouTube, welcome to another pajama pickup video. Nighttime pickup video. And today I'm gonna be focusing on some thrift store finds. I think these are mostly video game related, but the theme of all these pickups were uh, items that I actually found on my own at the thrift store. I've shot a few pickup videos back to back, and a lot of them were either like from my wife, the original thrift dweller, who goes out quite a bit more than I do to the thrift store and picks up stuff for me, or like I go out with my wife and my mother-in-law who is, my wife calls her a walking discount because she's technically a senior, so every Tuesday we get like 30% off at the thrift store, so I like to take her around. But today, all this stuff here is stuff that I found on my own uh, when I had the free hour here and there to go to the thrift store. And surprisingly, like I said in the last pickup video, there's been a lot of video game items at the thrift store lately. I've actually had to put some stuff back. Of course, the prices aren't the same as they used to be. Uh, I'm not gonna be dividing this up into like the segments. I will save the best pickup for the end of the video. I'll just start with these, get these out of the way. I do like strategy guides. And this one was a dollar book. It was in the children's section. It's Super Mario 64 uh, Prima. Rest in peace, Prima, the company that makes the strategy guides, I think, uh, called it quits for their company. But really cool. I love really old strategy guides like this, kind of a capsule of the era that the game came out in. Discover how to get uh, 100 lives and wings to fly. But I thought it was a fun game when it came out today. I think it actually still holds up. Of course, it's not like the most cutting edge 3D game, but at the time, it moved very well. It was very intuitive. Like you push the, the joystick in the three dimensional space and it went the way you wanted it to go, which seems really simplistic now, but back then a lot of video game developers really didn't know how to make that work. You're not allowed to simply hold the D-pad or joystick in that direction. No, no, no. You have to painstakingly turn yourself from a standstill and then move in the direction you're facing. Mainly I think because it was a new thing, 3D world, 3D landscapes. But Super Mario 64 I think at the time was the pioneer of that. And they made a fantastic game. I should really play that game, it's been a long time since I've played Super Mario 64. I bought this for lesser, Gears of War 2 strategy guide. Uh, this one was blue tagged at uh, Salvation Army, so $1.99 for this book. And the main reason I bought it was because... Has the poster still in it? I love posters and strategy guides. Of course, I can't show you the poster without ripping it open. And a really interesting strategy guide from Brady Games again. Silent Hill The Room. Uh, I tried playing this game. I think I, I, I'm gonna say I didn't like it, but I think in reality I got freaked out because it is kind of... Silent Hill games are like a different type of creepy, man. They're not like Resident Evil creepy. Although the new Resident Evil 2 remake is pretty good. <laughs> But this is like mindfuck creepy. Does that make sense? Look at this kid. That looks like my son in the morning. It's really creepy actually. In the middle of the night, my daughter, she kind of sleepwalks to me. And it's like super dark. And every time I see her, her hair is just like long. Anyways, what's in this bag? We'll find out. But first, little mini arcade actually. These are about 20 bucks, I think. And Walmart brand new. This one is Joust. And it works. It actually does work. At first I thought, this game is horrible, it's not that fun. But when I figured out actually how to play Joust, this is a really cool uh, arcade. I'm kind of happy I got it. And it, it, it actually plays really good, even though it's a little tiny screen there. For $3.99 at Valley Village, I thought that was a good price for this Williams game. What's in the bag? Okay, I lied. One, a couple of these pickups were when I was with Gary. Lady, Who the fuck Lady. is that guy? Storytime stories with Dora. That's obviously for my daughter. She loves DVDs. God of War for three dollars at uh, this was a small independent thrift store in our city. But the main reason I got it, it came complete with like all this, you know, the card and stuff. But I don't actually have the special features disc. 
and obviously in <laughs> Gran Turismo 3 is the wrong game inside but the main reason I bought it was for this disc here and obviously I have it on my shelf many times over but well the special features so now I have it complete I did pay a lot for that disc but I think just to kind of settle that vo voice in my brain I guess sliver of my mind of not having this game fully complete Actually, now that I think about it, I do have this game factory sealed, so that special disc... Actually, I don't know if it will be inside, because this one... The cover actually says two disc set right there, and I think this factory sealed one I have does not say that. Is this worth more? I wonder. Not that that's what retro video game collecting is about, according to Pat Contry. Moving along, Valley Village, $3.99. I had a 20% off coupon for these. Uh, Samba 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 the Amigo for the Wii You see you put the Wii controllers in there. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the game. I just butchered it uh, My wife bought this game actually years ago because she loved the Wii funny enough when it first came out She did enjoy that console, but we never we had the game, but we didn't have Now do I want to complete this with the big... I think it had a bigger oversized box. But I think I'm, I'm happy just to have these two here. Value for this game now complete... No, I don't have the box. I'll put the value of this game if it was complete here. And from what I remember last time I saw it, that was kind of surprising for that game. However, it might have changed. I won't know until after I'm editing this video. I took a gamble on a game from Valley Village, $4.99. Uh, mine is 20% off with my coupon for My Sims Kingdom. Now you saw this at the thrift store. Would you buy it as a gamble to think, hey, maybe it's worth more than $4.99 minus 20% off? I'll let you know now if you were correct. I wasn't correct, obviously. I looked it up after I got home. $2.99 from uh, Salvation Army for a Platinum Controller GameCube controller. Huh. <sighs> This is not very... These games, like I was saying, I went to the fleet market with my buddy Gary, G-Man, G-Meister, and I picked up a couple games that uh, I didn't have in my collection yet, and I thought way overdue that I had them. I got all these for 50 bucks. Anyways, I don't have Rad Gravity. He was asking $9 for this game. Um... I want to say I saw this in somebody recommended list of games thing, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Here's what the gameplay looks like. Brad himself has a big head that reminds me a lot of Bruce Campbell, and you can never go wrong with Bruce Campbell. Ain't no Metal Storm, but you would think from the cover of this game, it, it looks like a Metal Storm, right? Probably it's not a Metal Storm. Warrior World, 20 bucks. I thought that was a good price for this, uh, even without like a discount or whatever. Pretty good condition on the disc. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I really do want it, actually. Here's some gameplay footage of this game. I haven't played it yet, but I want to say this came recommended to me by Juan from a cast from the past. Shout out to your new... Yeah, cast from the past. Shout out to your new podcast. Uh, they used to do this uh, podcast I, I listened to. Uh, Bite this? Bite that? It was basically a wrestling podcast, and him and his friend, there's actually a Winnipeg connection there. They made a new podcast, which I haven't been able to listen to lately, but it's called a, pa a Cast from the Past. A Cast from the Past, where they just talk about anything retro. Obviously, it speaks to my cohort, people who share my experiences and are into the same interests as me. Yeah, but Warrior World. And this is a funny story about this game. I don't even know if I have it still over here. I think I cannibalized that case. Double Dragon 3, the arcade game for the Sega Genesis. This was the most expensive game on the lot for $35. But I had this game on the shelf like this for how many years already in my collection, right? A couple years ago, I opened it up just to like, you know, take inventory, see what I have complete. It didn't have the manual. And when I took a closer look at the cartridge, You know, I may have dyslexic tendencies. It was a yellow cartridge. And it didn't match the game on the cover. Because I just had the cover for this game, but the wrong game was inside. I had Double Dragon Dragon Falls. I want to say that was 5. It's the fighting game, the Street Fighter type Double Dragon game. And for years I thought I had this and I was satiated because I had it. But when I found out I didn't have it, I was very disappointed in myself. I haven't played this game yet. I think I was actually having a hankering to play this game. And when I opened it up, it wasn't in there. <laughs> Here's
Here's some gameplay footage of this game. I don't even think I played this game emulated yet. So let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. I love Double Dragon games. For people who know my taste in games, I'm not the RPG guy. I'm not this big, epic, you know, long story thing. I like my arcade games. I like my quick pick up and play games, easy uh, learning curve games, games that I can kind of come back to where if I come back to it like in a few months, I don't forget what the story is. I'm that kind of gamer. I like nice, quick, bite-sized pieced gaming. I love big graphics and punchy in the face. Beat-em-ups obviously fit that bill. So I love beat-em-up games. Now I can actually play this one. I'm very tempted to play this online and share it with you guys, live casting it or whatever. So there you have it, today's pickup video. Supposed to be everything I found on my own, but obviously the last three pickups were with uh, the homie Gary, so. Pickups I found without my family. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to everybody who's been watching the videos again. Yes, it's been a while since we shot any content for this channel. And I'm sorry I only do them at night, really. That's the only time I have after work. This kind of helps me unwind. And after I shoot these videos, I can kind of go to bed. So thank you very much for the ability to do that. That's it for me, Nate. Peace. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. On the sides here, I put two recommended videos, not necessarily from this channel, but videos that I enjoy watching. If you watch them, leave a comment that Thrift Dweller sent you. Kind of funny. We're totally anti-YouTube type people. We don't even tell you to ring the bell. But ring the bell, please.